Hi, I'm Elizabeth Townsend Gard um, from Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. Today we have a video, a video, um, and we're doing a sew along, a sew along where Gigi Bai will be leading us through Jen Kingwell's The Gypsy Wife Quilt, which is awesome. Um, so these are videos that Gigi will produce um, and help us understand how to do it. And Corey Dutton, um, a law student, is going to learn to quilt. So um, it's for beginners, advanced people, even law students. Um, and it will be great. So uh, I hope this helps. So where do you find the pattern? Um, Jen Kinkwell's pattern can be found at Amazon. It's again called the Gypsy Wife Quilt. It's super popular. You can also get it at Uptown Needle and Craftworks here in New Orleans. Just um, look them up online and call them or at any quilt shop. So get the pattern and join us. Okay, so I got my other cup of coffee so I can make it through Crazy Ann. Um, I've printed out this um, paper piecing pattern block from Christy Lee of Quiet Play. Uh, we'll have the, a link to this attached to our Facebook, I mean our um website um, at Just One Quilt, but it is very busy. It has a lot of stuff going on. So I've decided instead of making it the way that it looks like it is here with a bunch of different fabrics, I'm going to try and use a little bit more of the same. So all my corners will be the same fabric. One of the pictures I saw, like this fabric was the same as this square, and then this square was the same as this triangle. I, I'm going to do it a little bit differently and I'm trying to make it as best I can be very um, different so the contrast will make it really stand out. You can see that there are these white pieces here that will end up looking like a star with the dark pieces next to it um, and then you've got your little squares added on, um, I'm sorry, your triangles added onto your squares that will make a whole different dimension. So we'll start by um, printing this out. I did measure it. Um, if you print it to 100%, it should come out the right size. It's going to be a 10 inch finished block, so it'll be 10 and a half inches as we're working on it um, before we sew it into the quilt. So you end up with um, three pages that need to be paper pieced, and I numbered them. Um, I picked my fabrics, and then I've labeled my fabrics with a number. So number one, and then I on my pattern piece, I put a number one, for whichever fabric I wanted to be that, um, whichever um, piece I want to be number one, I have labeled it so that I can just go through and say, oh, here's one, here's two, here's three. So I have um, a total of five different fabrics to use, and I hope that's right. I hope that's going to get me through um, as we go through. Now we're just paper piecing. I'm going to start with A, and we're paper piecing exactly the same way that we have on all of our other ones. You'll notice that on the, when you print this out, A1 has an A2 and an A3. So I'll put my A1 square, I'll cut a piece of um, fabric number three, and I'll put a square here. Then I'll t cut a piece for fabric number four, will be those two, and I'll um, start by sewing on the line. Remember, I'll put my fabric on the back, I'll sew on the line and have it um, that will be my first sew line. Then I'll put another piece of fabric here, and I'll have a second sew line, and so forth, and I'll finish all of A. She specifically tells us in our directions, if you go back and look, it says, um, join the sections together in the following order. Join A to B, then this AB section will be joined to C, and then join D to E, and then you'll join D and E to the section C, and your box, box lock will be complete. So let's get started. I'm going to go cut some pieces and I'll be back with um, my first paper piecing of, of block A. Okay, so I'm working on section A of Crazy Anne and I just wanted to show you that as you're putting it together, it doesn't look like it, it, it you can't see the shapes until you start cutting along the dotted line and then all of a sudden it starts to look like the block it's supposed to be. So I'm going to trim this so that you can see There is a little bit of waste when you are paper piecing in that, you know, sometimes you have pieces, but I'm thinking these can go on to be something else, maybe the corner, another square, another block later on. 
So I'm not throwing them away. We'll see what they can grow up to be. So once you get it all done like this, then it's hard to see this one because it's lighter, but this is the first part of um, the, the block. So this is the A section. Now I'm going to work on the B section, then I'll work on the C section, and we can put A and B together. And then I'll do D and E. Okay, so we'll see how it looks. So here's a finished Crazy Ann block that is not the correct size. Even though I measured beforehand, I put all my paper pieces together, and it measured 10 and a half, and I followed all the seam allowances, quarter of an inch, it is not even quite 10 inches. So I'm going to add a border of, I think, this fabric right here and call it a day. Um, not quite sure what happened and not quite sure what to tell you about printing it out and how it will um, come together for you. Um, I'll see if I can play with it a little bit and work with some of the um, printing. I'm wondering if when I printed it, my printer likes to help me by putting it at 93%. And I'm wondering if that's what happened. I really enjoyed making this one and I enjoyed having it um, be the same fabrics, you know, here, 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 and here, instead of a lot of different fabrics. So I think you can really see the design of the square. So I'm happy to put a border on it and call it a day, but I might make it again if I can enlarge it a little bit more because I did enjoy it. So I hope you are a little more successful with the actual measurement of yours than I was with mine, but I hope you have as much fun as I did, because I did enjoy doing this one. It didn't make me crazy. This is Elizabeth Townsend Guard from Just Want a Quilt. You've been listening to Gigi Bai take us through an aspect of the Gypsy Wife Quilt by Jen Kingwell. Make sure you get the pattern. You can get the pattern at Amazon or Uptown Needle and Craft Works here in New Orleans or at your local quilt shop. Um, you need the pattern to be able to understand what's going on. And then um, Gigi helps us through it. So join us. Come play with us. Come to our Facebook group, Just Want a Quilt. Uh, go to our website and be part of our newsletter where we'll help you through the Gypsy Wife Quilt. Um, that's JustWantAQuilt.com, spelled W-A-N-N-A, Just Want a Quilt. Um, and of course, listen to our podcast. It's available on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, and if you can't a chance to like it on those, it would be super awesome. <laughs>